name's A Margin and welcome back to another episode of Lego Webfriend. Today we have another suggested one for you guys. Well, I think this has been a suggestion. I'm not so sure because the fact that I tried to search on who suggested this weapon in the community section in the comments, but um, nothing came up. I mean, I tried different ways of typing and all that stuff, but I just couldn't find it for some reason. But I just know deep down for sure that this has been a suggestion for someone but if it has been let me know who that person is in this comments below but either way let's show you this good old pistol oh yes i will be doing the 300 subscriber video quite soon so don't you guys worry it's going to be quite an awesome one i'll give you that so anyway here it is. Oh yeah, so this is bound to be a Tech 45, which is made by FN Hairstyle, which I believe is a Belgium firearms company? Yeah. Anyway, let's have a look at the comparisons between this Lego one and the real one. So, let's have a look. Interesting stuff, right. Let's show you the areas and features of this particular pistol. First things first, well, here's this magazine. I believe it fires, well, it's kind of self explanatory, a .45 ACP, which is kind of a powerful round for what it is. Or it could fire a 9mm, well, a 9 by 19 well, I've lost my words now. I'm just distracted by those big group of birds over there. I mean, seriously, there's like a big, huge group of birds. Hang on. Look at those birdies. Well, I don't know if you can see them. They're on the trees now. But anyway. <laughs> oh man. But anyway. I think the fire's a 9x19mm parabellum. That's the one. So anyway. That goes in, like so. It's got a fat off magazine when it came to the real pistol. I mean, seriously, it's quite thick. Anyway. Here's the trigger, like so. Here's the trigger guard. The select fires, I believe. Well, this is ambidextrous, which means it can be used for both hands. Or whatever. Well, not particularly for both hands, because the breach is on the right hand side, which means it is a right handed weapon. But it doesn't matter, because you can always switch it around in, when it comes to making it in the factory. So, anyway, here's the muzzle, or the thread, like so. You can undo this and put a suppressor on there or an extension to it. Who knows? Here's a attachment rail at the bottom here, or a piggy rail. The iron sights. Well, the reason why the iron sights are this high up, so that you could put on an optic on top. Pretty cool stuff. It's like just in case if the optic like breaks in the process when it comes to using it, you can always use a backup sight, which is these. So, pretty cool stuff. Um, here's a hammer, like so. The firing pin the slide, and the breech. Pretty cool stuff. So anyway, this is all I have time for you guys and for you today, but join me next week for more good old guns I'll be doing for you guys. But if you enjoyed this one, don't forget to leave a like or a comment down below or what you think of this episode. Should help you a lot, but if you really liked it, do well, subscribe to my channel. And keep the channel growing, should help you a lot as well. Oh yes, keep a date with videos that I do as well. And if you're new in the channel, welcome to the look around content that I've done in the past, or you just want to keep a date with the rest of the community, that would help with us as well, but either way, it is up to you. So yes, join me next week for more content that I'll be doing for you guys. And as always, enjoy the rest of your days. Salute!